Okay, Aries. It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope you're well. If the December reading I did initially did not resonate with you, I'm hopeful that this is your redo read because the one that I just did, that I posted anyway, it was like a continuation of the last one. So apparently it wasn't as specific as I thought it was. But just in case, I'm doing it again. You guys know the drill if you've been here before. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. Check your moon rising, your Venus. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If you're new, want to come hang out some more, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. I have opened comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them open. Fair enough? All right. We're just going to hop right to it. Seven of Pentacles just popped out. Some of you are exercising patience in a situation. All right. I'm going to... King of Swords. Taking the logical approach, not being too emotional. Tipping down, we're getting them on the table for you. I'm going to do one good shuffle. Oh, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let's... Another good shuffle. I'm just going to leave it. All right. Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords. Rock on. Beginning of a new cycle. Communication. The challenge is keeping the lines of communication open. Finding all the, informa all the information you need to know. I see possibly an avoidable argument. I see someone being left out in the cold. But inevitably, I see someone finding their inner peace and happiness at the same time. So, why is it happening? Six of Pentacles. King of Cups. Four of Swords. So there is equality. There's equal give and take. At the very least, an energy match. Someone didn't necessarily express emotion when it was there. And then it was time to just take a break. Oh, all right. <coughs> Outcome. Four of Wands. Very nice. Make or break. Eight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Definitely something new starting up. Something... Potentially plentiful, bountiful. All right. Ace of Swords currently at the bottom of the deck. Let's get a little clarity for Aries for their redo number two. One on the Knight of Swords. One on the Knight of Swords. This communication, the challenge is keeping the positive energy flow. <clears throat> okay, talk to me about the Five of Swords. This feels like the avoidable argument to me, it really does. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Really? Okay.
Ace of Cups. at the bottom of the dark okay areas mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go with it I'm not saying anything until I get clarifiers on everything else but I can already see where this is heading why the five of Pentacles why the five of Pentacles the fool popped out Just to keep it even, give me one more. Nine of Pentacles. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Why the Nine of Cups? at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> Why the Six Pentacles? got stuck at the crossroads, couldn't decide. Didn't know if they wanted to let go or hang on. Due to an energy match. King of Swords. Someone was negative emotion not expressing emotion, being very cutthroat, very logical. Why the King of Cups? High Priestess, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, sorry. That flipped out in the reverse. We're going to take it in the reverse. Does it make sense in the upright? There was secrets. There was lack of communication. Someone wasn't showing emotion. It was there, but they weren't showing it. Old man, stop. Star at the bottom of the deck. Why the four swords? 
Why the Four of Swords? Nine of Swords. Empress reversed. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Oof, guys, oof. Telling the same story in just a different way. Well, I'll be darned. Maybe this is happening to a lot of you. Why the Four of Wands? It's good outcome. Releasing of the burden, Ten of Wands. Why the Eight of Cups? One on the King of Cups. Eight of Swords. Okay. Five, five Cups at the bottom of the deck. We're leaving it. Can you get through whatever this was? It was a lot of... This was strained in the past. This was very strained. Like, strained to the point of, are we going to break up? Is this going to affect any further growth? It led to extreme anxiety. There was secrets. There was lack of communication. Someone was getting ready to let go. Maybe both of you were. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to keep throwing this out there, but it's it's what is being thrown at me right now. It's what's being thrown at me. The 5 of swords can mean things going on behind closed doors. It can. It's the avoidable argument. I feel like someone at some point went off and started something new with someone else. The other person may or may not have been aware, and I'm not pointing fingers at you, Aries. I'm not trying not to point fingers at anybody. But some some stuff went down. It, it went down. It's not avoidable. This is for somebody. Ran this three times this month now. Any issues with that are going to come to an end. Because whoever did what is about to get their wake-up call. And they're going to realize at the end of the day what they want to invest in. And they want the pain and the arguing and the backstabbing to come to an end. They want to try to save this. Because they know what their tenth cup is. And it's not whatever that was. It's you. Or if the situation's reversed, your 10th cup is them. There's potential for a new start here. But you gotta get through the sadness. You gotta walk away from whatever it was. You have to release the anxiety and come out of the mental prison and stay out of it of whatever it was. You have to be willing to communicate better. And you can't be so anxious when the other person isn't communicating. 
or isn't showing emotion because it's there. Just because cups have been spilled doesn't mean there isn't full cups there. This is fixable. Let's get a moonology. What is this? What is this? I said, I'm going to post them both. Your commitment is being tested. Okay. One on the wisdom. Deep knowing, number 43. All right, let's read the moonology. First quarter moon. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you, can pro then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true? Or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you. So believe in yourself. Deep knowing. Number 43, deep knowing. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with Source. The consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with your naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then actually act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing so tune in and trust your vibes. It will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Okay. Hope it helped somebody. That's what I have for you guys. Know that you're loved to be blessed. Have one hell of a new year. Let's make it a banging banner 2022. Peace, love, and light.